Hey everybody, Red X Rain, coming at you with the very final, well I think it's going to be the final episode of Kirby's Adventure for the NES. Um, technically there's another level, another level after this, but it's really just the main boss fight, so I'm going to try and condense this into um, one episode of like maybe 20 minutes, but we'll see how that goes. Because um, really this level is not hard, like getting to the boss is really easy. Uh, there's only like two switches to get. They're not that hard. And they're actually one of them's in this room, so oh. just wanna grab the fire to make getting through here a little quicker. Having to suck them up and well, no, because I guess the fire won't go that high. Whatever, that's fine. This is what we really want, is the beam power. Because beam will just tear through everything. Like this. There we go. And we're gonna need that guy later, the fireball. Oh, look at that, I'm destroying part of the... the these bricks here. Should tell you, should give you a little hint of what we have to do to get to the door, which you'll see in just a second. Let me get past this. Kill all these waddle -doos, I think that's what they're called. This all up here is breakable, so you wanna... Only by the beam, though, so you have to kind of jump and break them. But then there's... gosh. I know there's ones up there that you can get with just air poofing. There we go. So you hear that? That's not just my speakers being crap. That means that wall's made of something special. So we're gonna grab the fireball and let's kill these guys so they don't kill us. And they'll... boom! Right through it. Pretty simple switch. Nothing too fancy. Hard to mess it up. And then, uh, yeah, you just do the skid across the ground to um, break that. I'm just gonna sh fly over everything here if I can. I'm just gonna, oh, I guess I can. It's okay. Moving along, nothing to see here. So I'll go do the crane game and try and get some lives going. And I got nothing that time, because I suck. Okay. And so now we start a classic of any NES game, all your Mega Mans and uh definitely Mega Man, I'm sure there's other games I just can't think of any right now where you just kinda remind yourself of the whole game. Where you just have to battle the mini bosses again. This is just like a tower of mini bosses. This is really easy though, because you just grab Crash, you go to the next one, Alarm Clock Dude, we'll just use Crash on him. And now we have Mike, which is another, you know, power that just takes no tact whatsoever. Is it on him? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna try to save Mike. There we go. Save the mic power, because ice is good, but mic is better. And who's in here? Ah, bonker. We should be able to do him with maybe one more hit? Two more. Nope. I'll throw a nut. Wait for him to jump. Throw in a temper tantrum. Because I've had to beat him, like, what, seven times now? <laughs> Hammer power. And... Turtle Hate this guy. Ugh. Come on. Now I lost the hammer. Although it's not very good against him anyway, so I guess it's all... It's all right. Is it just me or does it look like he throws out little Metroids? They almost... Let's see that one more time. Right? They kind of look like little Metroids. Right. I'm not going to keep the throw power. I just want to have a star ready to curl at the next end, which I think is the beetle dude. Yeah. And you can't use... No, I can't use it on him. Oh. That's okay. I should do it one more time. Jump over him. Send out little bugs. Ah. Come on. Oh, great. I thought it was going to tackle me in the air. Do the same thing here. 
the backdrop. It's not going to be useful against any mini boss, but I think it's my least favorite too. The cat, lion dude, creepy. Yeah. Try and stay out of the way. God. Ah. Come on. Oh no, I'm not going down like this. Apparently I am. Damn it. I don't think they stay. Okay, I don't have to start at the bottom of the tower. That would suck. There we go. Stay as high as I can. No. Yeah, it gets close, but... Give him a minute. Whoop. There we go. One more ought to do it. Just delaying the inevitable, buddy. Okay. And this is a power I will definitely take. Because you can actually use it against enemies. <laughs> but of course the tower is done. Let's fly up here and take a warp star. And I think that's the end of this level. I think it was just a... Or maybe there's a little... A few enemies to fight on the way. Yeah, they give you a health tomato in case you need it from facing all those bosses, but... Uh, oh. Great. Um... What happens in part three? It's just your standard... Like, there's a really cool level coming up, but I think it's the last level before the boss fight against D to D. D, to D. Um... Bunch of sleepers, we don't want those. Uh, screw, uh, screw it. Now, talk about a place where it'd be good to have the laser power to kill all these guys, the zigzag for everything, but of course, they don't give it to us. There's max health up there, which I need. Go grab that. Did it glue? Meta Knight! Hey, I killed you! Oh wait, no, I didn't kill him. He just ran away. I get the hyper power. Um, so yeah, that was sort of a... Um, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but there's a bit of a gamble with the... Not a gamble, but... Um, it took sort of a chance, I guess, on... Um, the storyline here. I mean, for it being really the second... Uh, the second Kirby game... They gave a, oh, we'll call it an interesting twist to this game. Because, I mean, so far it's been pretty, you know, um, standard. There's enemies to fight, and Meta Knight's been following us the whole time, and if you played the last game, you know about King D to D and his, you know, he's always the main antagonist of the story. Oh, my favorite music's back. And I realized last time when I was watching the last level where this music was playing. It reminds me of that um, Silver and Gold song. You know that? It's a Christmas song. Maybe it's just because it's so close to Christmas that I hear it, but there's one part. I'm gonna listen for it. Coming up. Which is one of my favorite Christmas songs. Here it is. Silver and Gold. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. Here it is again. Not quite, but it's close enough. So I'm almost dead here, of course, because it's too busy. Thinking about Christmas and all the gifts I'm gonna get. Oh, yeah. You know what? I should probably just go through as the fireball. I bet I could just take out everything. Bam! Well, I guess I can't do that. <laughs> just keep hitting A and just hope I hit everything. Which it worked! Oh. I'm gonna ditch it here, because it's just too risky to fly into things and then fall into pits, and it's not worth it. I'm trying to suck up one and... Nah. We'll just run into this, too, because... It's really hard to fly around. Not impossible. Yes! 
Need that extra life. Back down to... Well, 16 now. Because you didn't see it last time, but I was... I didn't do very good in my fight against Meta Knight. The one that ended up on the video... Oh, here's a... Yeah. Just suck this up, and then honestly just run like hell across everything else. It's just... Not worth it. And crash is useful here. To go wee wee. But yeah, I did terrible in my first, gosh, I don't know, seven attempts at fighting Meta Knight. Terrible. Notice the stars in the background? It sort of affects, like, the gravity. So, this part pushes you up, and this part pushes you down. Which, of course, they put the fireball dudes there. So you just fall into the pit. Once you have it, you can just keep shooting right across here. Oh my god, this puzzle... Not hard, but god is it aggravating. It's not a switch. But here's the wick, which you know what that means. It means we're gonna be setting we're gonna be setting fire to something. Now look how close there's the wick, right? Um I'm gonna try and do it. Yeah, it's not even close. Okay. So there's a cannon over here, but you have like ten seconds to do it. I just restarted. Um I did not do that in two attempts, I swear. That took me like Three minutes I had to edit out. But look at all this! We get five one-ups. Cost me a lot of health, but I made it! We got five one-ups out of it, which we will very much need soon. Then again, I suppose I could always just do save states. And, you know, modern technology allows me to be lazy. This, I love this. This is cool. This is, um, basically this whole level is just, they recreate the old levels from Kirby's Dreamland. Yeah, Kirby's Dreamland, the very first Kirby game for the NES. Or, uh, Game Boy, sorry. Um, which is cool. Kirby gets to stay in color, and he still gets to suck up, um, you know, we came in with fire, so we get to use it. But yeah, they're not they're not complete recreations of the old levels, but they're I mean they're pretty close. There's some stuff missing and you know. But it's sort of like a little little trip down memory lane, a little tour of where Kirby came from back in the Game Boy days. Music too, you can use the old music. It's in higher fidelity because, you know, the Game Boy didn't have it had like even worse eight bit worse than 8 bit sound, it was just, you know. But that's cool. Just burn these squids. Ah! Lost my firepower. Oh yeah, fancy, jumping over my... Come on, get out of here. Uh, healing toothpaste. We'll definitely take that after that hit. There's nothing hidden back there, I swear. This is there to piss you off. Make you go look for something that's not there. And this is the final real level before we get into... Uh, it's really three boss fights in a row. Uh, it was too good to be true, that I could just fly over everything. And... We have one more secret room to find here. We're gonna fly to the top, and we're just gonna tear through these blocks. We'll do the skid power, which I never use that skid power enough. I, you know, I realize now looking at it, like, that's a lot of stuff you can avoid. Um, right here under the crescent moon, there's a door. It's right around here somewhere. There we go. One final switch. And that is all the switches in the game. One more one up. We don't really need the health tomato. But that's it. See, that was only, what, about 15 minutes of game? 15 minutes to get through the level? And now we face our nemesis, King DDD. Um, yeah, I should be able to complete the game in this time. Let's go for it. So. King DDD has a few attacks, and he randomizes them. There's that, the dive attack. He has one where he jumps in the air. 
Or he comes after you with his hammer, which, of course, is bad. He can suck you up and blow you out. And there's also one where he jumps. He's just not doing it. But he jumps in the air, and then he comes crashing down and makes stars. Oh, yeah, and this one, where he just puffs up like a balloon and tries to smash you. And sometimes he succeeds. And there's that attack I was talking about. So really, it's just about, like, you know... Keep your distance when he's about to do either the hammer attack or the jump attack. Get kind of close, swallow a little star that he makes, spit it back out. Really not very hard. It's I, I think there's other boss fights that are harder. I'd say the the Krako one, the the spiky cloud guy with one eye. He's hard than this, or he can be anyway. So when you when you beat this the first time, you think like that was a really anticlimactic final boss battle, like, you know, <laughs> that's a terrible feeling, you know, when you get to the final boss and you're like, that was the easiest thing ever, but, but there's more, oh, there's much more, it's almost dead here, and one more after that, come on, you lost, dude, just, just accept it. jump. Oh, that was a weird one, but okay. Alright, game over. We won. Right? Level 8. Oh, great. Right. We gotta return the... What is this? Look at Kirby's face. He's pissed off. He's like, I'm doing it. Get off, man. You're clingy. I need my space. Alright. And order is restored to the Oh no! <laughs> What's this? Okay, now this is really annoying. This took me like so much editing. It took me like forever. So basically, you want to just never let your finger off of the attack button because you have a very limited time to fight this guy, this orb. And he shows off all his attacks here. He has a very set attack pattern. So once you play, like, a few times, because, believe me, you're not going to win your first time. I mean, if you can, kudos to you. But that's his whole range of attacks there. He does it the same way every time. Um, some of them are easier to avoid than others. But really what makes this hard is the, the time limit you're set at. I don't know what the exact time is. All I can tell you is it's not enough time. Not enough time. Um, you need 60 hits to kill this guy, and right here you'll see, if I hadn't beaten him there, the level squishes you, and you're dead. So you have, what was that, like a minute to do 60 shots against him? Yeah. So that's the first part of the final boss fight. And the final part is actually, I guess it's easier only because you don't have like a set time limit. Um, this is the Nightmare Vampire. He's our real antagonist. And I'm actually just gonna purposely kill myself here, just because I'm not gonna beat him with one health. It's just not gonna happen, so we'll just start over here. So really, just stand off to one side. I like the right side. And see how his underside, like, when he opens his cape, it's, like, glowy? You're trying to hit that, so it's a matter of timing. It's also a little bit of luck, but this is the easiest time to do when he does that tornado attack. And then there's also a part, I think he does it here. Yeah. Where? Right there. Uh, so really, this is actually a, a, a boss fight where you don't want to jump too much. Sometimes you can hit him when he's doing that, but it's, it's trickier. Um, really, if you stay in that corner, the only time you want to jump is when he's shooting stars. Like, that. See, I got hit there, but, um, yeah, if you stay, if you fly, like, right there, he would fly right into you, so. This is really just a boss fight of patience. And right about here, he starts to get a little fancier. His tornado attack, he goes upside down. I don't know if he's gonna do it here, but let's see. Uh, dang it. Yeah, he goes upside down for the tornado, yeah, see? So you really have to time it there, because he just goes down once, and he up and you're 
that's like your very short window of time to... Oh, look at that! I didn't even tell you, I have one more hit in them. Yay! And that's it! I did it! And here they reveal the twist. I wish they had... Well, just blow up the moon. Let's just totally mess up Dreamland's tides. It'll kill the switch. So, got the little story. Kirby fought to find the Star Rod, but King DDD did not mean any harm. This is the twist I was talking about. Um, that. Well, you read the text here. So yeah, that's how things really end. Uh, I mean, it's nice that it came at the end, but it's a twist that I guess they could have put more dialogue in, like, as it was happening. But, I, I mean, this is all just, you know... It's a, it's a nice twist either way, you know, the guy that you thought was the enemy the whole time. It's really just misunderstood. He was trying to save... He didn't want the Nightmare Vampire to get the Star Rod, so he kept it gave it to all his minions to guard, and then Kirby has to come along and screw everything up by trying to save the day. Ugh. Which also explains Meta Knight and his sort of, now we get credits and we get a little reminder of the game, um, which explains Meta Knight why he would, he was also misunderstood, because he was also trying to protect Kirby from getting to those Star Rods, so it's an interesting sort of, you know, uh, step to make. It's not completely original, like groundbreaking, but it's it's cool when you think about it, you know. So, as I get near the end of this, I'm going to let the credits roll. I want to say a uh, big thanks to everyone who's started watching, uh, all my subscribers that I got, uh, and definitely a real big shout out to everyone on the Let's Play forums. Uh, everyone there was just really, really helpful, uh, and if I could thank one person in particular, it would have to be uh, Johnny Mayer. Uh, he's been with me since, since day one. Um, as cheesy as that sounds. But he's been really uh, supportive, and um, I think he was my first subscriber. Um, and he's a great help here as well. I would totally suggest checking out his channel. He's got a great uh, Resident Evil Jill scenario um, LP underway right now, which like, I actually anticipate it like I anticipate, you know, new episodes of a TV show. Uh, I'm like, I get pissed when it's like, it's been three days, Johnny, come on, upload faster. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, so I want to say thanks to Dapper Jester and just everybody in the uh, Let's Play forums. This is Rich, yep, Red X Rain, signing off. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm going to start my next LP right now. Bye.